Hey everybody. As the sun sets on another day, it's, uh, let's make it morning again. Here I am back in my base, uh, doing more stuff, cooking more sand. Yeah, let's make it be day again. I have done a minor amount of fiddling with maps. I copied my level zero map, upgraded one to a level one map. So, I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting with these things. So, let's see. So, supposedly each different size of map has its own grid. <laughs> so, that's... Uh, looks like this size will be pretty useful, because it encompasses pretty much all of my base. The northern part I don't really do much in. But I wonder if I, I'm going to make some blank maps, get the other three that are to the north and west and northwest of here. Okay, so <clears throat> going to need some paper. Do I have paper? I did get paper. So, I'm going to make, let's see, I'll make three empty maps. I do want them to be locator maps. But I'm going to need more compasses. So first, I'll make some compasses. And that takes, what, just iron and redstone? I got lots of all that stuff. So right now, I'll just make three more. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right back in here. Mm -mm -mm. Empty locator maps, so then, so as soon as I look at any of these maps, they become real, just like Schrodinger's cat, right, or something else. Okay, and I don't want to get these confused. I'm not sure what happened if I try to rename a map that's cloned of a different size or something. So I'll probably just, uh, I don't know, something. So I should look at one of these, I guess. Mm. That's right, that's when I, when I use the, <clears throat> when I push the use button. Right now it's just a hunk of paper in my hand. So now I'll just go west of here. Off this side, kind of hard to see. All right, so am I off the map yet? Not yet. Come on. Am I off the map? Yeah, I should be, because there's water all around me. So I should be in a different. Uh, I should be in a different quadrant. So I take this, and if I use it. Yeah, okay, I'm in a different quadrant now. And then I'm right uh, by this edge here. So yeah, there's the little blue nubbin sticking up. That's there. So, walk north of here. Yeah, this hole's not on this map, so it must be on a different map. Boom. Yep, okay, I think I'm getting the hang of how maps work. And there, yep, they're named one, two, three... So this is kind of like, not quite a Cartesian plane. Anyway, which one is me? This one, I guess. No, this, this one. <clears throat> so this one does not show the river. It kind of, oh, the dot is mostly to show like the direction that I am relative to what I can see. So I'll get nice and uh, into the river here, and then this becomes, boom, this area. So I wonder what'll happen if I clone each of these and then zoom them out. Bit of an experimentation uh, episode. And I was thinking, once I get these maps a little bit more, uh, once I know kind of what I'm doing with them, I want to try going back to my base and pick up some stuff while also exploring my map areas. So, I'll put this iron and stuff back. 
So now these are all locator maps, and I believe now when I copy them, the copies will also be locator maps. So here's the zoomed out. I'm going to have to try to organize these by... <clears throat> Uh, by something. So there's just a bunch of paper. Map 4 is the upper right. Map 1, that's a zoomed out one. So let's say that that's for the lower right. Zoomed out more. Uh... Map 3 is 1, 2, 3, upper left. Map 2 is lower left. Map 1. Okay, so. I'll make copies of a bunch of these. And these, I was kind of confused because you can't make copies of the map through uh, the crafting shortcut thing. So now here's map 4. Oh, that's right, I need to have an empty map to copy it uh, for or from or something. And these can be just regular empty maps. So I'm going to make three copies. I'll make, now this is a copy of this. Wait, did, yeah, okay, so now that's a level zero. And now I can make a zoomed out by putting that like so. And at some point, I'm probably off camera, going to decide the usefulness of, of these things. And I, th I think it is, uh, when I make a map, the map doesn't start at nothing. The map knows what I have seen even before I made the map. I think that's how it works. So now I'll copy map 3, put one in there, and zoom out, oh crud, put one down there, one over there, take that out, and then map 2, uh, copy with this, then zoom it out, oh, wait, what, where's my stuff, there it is, I might as well stack those together now, okay now, so I've got some zoomed out, uh, stuff. So I'll take a look at these two, the north, I better eat something. Don't want to eat the map. Well, before I get too far afield, no, not yet. I did actually make a secondary enchanting area down by my skeleton farm, because the skeleton farm is only useful as I'm sitting there. And at the enchanted table, I tend to sit there for a little bit, so I figure I might as well do both of those in the same place. So, now that I'm doing a bit of enchanting every once in a while, it's good to keep up my leather supply. So, feed you, and you, and you, and you. All you guys eat the food. can't tell who's eating, just everybody eat. Eat, eat, eat. Food, food, food for everyone. Alright, I think they're all eating. Oh, there's this one person down here. You too can find love. Probably. Oh, there's hearts over there. Somebody. Is that sheep hearts? Oh, what is this cow? Come on, guys. Alright, it's a bit of a mess now. Half the time I end up just going down and out this bottom part because it's, uh, easier than trying to navigate the cow area safely without uh, letting out a stray or two. Alright, I'll just stick this in one of my other uh, bins. 
this one. Yeah, why not? I accidentally made a bunch of sugar instead of paper once. So now I'm going to have to find out what the heck this is good for. I could bake a cake, I suppose. So, what time of day is it? It is almost nighttime. Perfect. Well, since it's almost nighttime, maybe I'll just get a couple of spare leather. I'll get a couple of leather, take a quick trip down to the, uh, the downstairs enchanting area. Come back here. I might as well get a few. I just made a bunch of babies. Okay, that'll do. So now I'll just, uh, well, before I go down, I'll take a little look at the map. So here's, uh, this is the more zoomed in one, I guess. And then this is more zoomed out, yeah. Oh, I guess it doesn't remember, because I know I've been, I know I've been in that northern area. I guess maybe that's just the radius of what I can see. I'm learning more about maps the more I stare at them, oddly. Oh, there's my, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, so, <clears throat> my plans for this episode do just a tiny bit of enchanting. And then I'll take my horse, I'll try going back to my base. I'll just see what exploration is like. Because I would also like to explore, now that I've got my horse and I've got a map that I can use to kind of keep track of something. I want to explore more to the south. Because I've not gone very far that way yet. This is my uh, <laughs> arrows and bones area. And whatever enchanted stuff they drop. So, I've got a couple of um, things. Get some books. Let's make a bunch of books. All the books I can. So, I want to enchant books with Protection 3, Sharpness, Aqua Affinity. I've been really tempted to get Aqua Affinity soon, just because that's something that I'm actually using lately. Or trying to, digging all that sand out from under the river. But Protection 3, I know that's a useful one. I'll just get Protection 3. And then what am I? 29. Maybe I'll just get a, well, I would say a quick level, but it's probably going to be a couple minutes of just doing this and waiting for more guys. So I'll just store what I've got. I'll leave this paper down here. An empty book in there. Lapis in there. Got enchanted books in here. I think I found a good one recently. Oh, I don't remember where I got this from. But it looks pretty awesome. Or is this the one I just did? Protection 3. Silk Touch 1. I didn't know they could have ranks. I thought it was just... It's either there or it's not. Well, maybe it is. Protection 1. Sharpness 1. Smite. That's right, I just made this one. And it's also got these other things. Interesting. Oh, Knockback 2. The person who made the lists that I red for these things said knockback 2 was too much, but oh well. Got depth Strider, Protection 1, Efficiency 1, Efficiency 1. I guess the third level enchantments tend to have some extras once in a while. Feather Falling 1, Blast Protection, Flame 1. Yeah, I actually have not done the the top level very often, because quite often it's just something that's kind of dumb, and then something more useful is going to be on one of the lower levels. Well, maybe 30 is going to come quicker than I thought. Yeah, sometime I'm going to look up to see if there's any possible use I can have for... Oops, I'm just going to pick that bow up again, aren't I? I really should put somewhere down here where I can just drop all this stuff. So it will disappear. This one's not enchanted, is it? No. I should probably brighten up my screen, it's a little bit hard to see. I can hear them swimming. Ooh! Yeah, this ain't too bad. I've been thinking about putting even more of my base stuff down here, just so I can kind of accumulate levels basically all the time as I'm doing whatever smelting things I'm doing. 
But then I think I'll have to come down here every time I want to do, like, anything. Oh, my sword broke, and I'm holding arrows now. <clears throat> well, I'll get that. There. Ooh, shiny boots. Hey, I got the shiny boots. And I'm too full for that. But what are my shiny boots doing? Thorns one. Well, they're something. And I got a bunch of bows I'm trying to get rid of. Mm, just drop them. Just drop them. Maybe I should uh, have a furnace down here just so I can put them in. I might as well kill these guys. <laughs> I know it's not going to get me to 31. Alright, another enchanted bow. Punch one. Alright, at some point I just got to stop. Get another... Let's give it just another quick try. Boom, boom. I get Aqua Affinity 1. I thought that was a lower level one earlier. I guess that must mean I'm more likely to have extra ones. Depth Strider, I'm breaking. Well, heck, that seems kind of strange. I could have sworn I had this on a lower level. Uh, Depth Strider Aqua Affinity. Well, uh, I guess I'll try it. Whatever, uh, boom. What did I get? Aqua Affinity and Infinity. It's very full of finities. Okay, well, this is something that I've just kind of been doing off and on and on and off. Oh, I got some more random chest plate. Alright, I'm getting so distracted by all of the stuff that there is around here. I got more lapis to put back. But hey, it's, a, it's such easy experience. Alright, I can drop some of this stuff upstairs or some other place. Just gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here, man. I'll take this opportunity to look around a little bit. Got a bunch of beef. Finally, I've reached the point where beef is all I eat because there's just so much. So much of it. This is a pretty nice view I get from my little train trip. So I'll get rid of those other... The skeleton things, the meat, the bow will drop, wait, up, oh, yeah, there, nothing in front of me, drop the bow, what time is it, middle of the night, I suppose I don't need all these maps, maybe I should bring some for the next time, no, I'm not going to get too caught up in woulda, shoulda, couldas, I'll just bring the maps that I think are going to be most relevant. Yeah. Oh, stay there. And... Maybe I should feed my horse something. It's been a little while since I... It's been a long time, actually, since I've fed him anything. That's right. I, I, tend to not, I tend to not use these gates very much because it's just simpler overall. Oh, good. He's got full health and hunger and all that stuff. And what time is it again? Almost morning. Jump. Oh, crap. That's right. I need to, <laughs> need to get past the river somehow to go north. Well, I think I can go north. Whoa. It's been a while since I've ridden him. It's going to take a little getting used to. I think I can get around. Oh, shoot. I've never been able to get back to my base without having to cross a river. So I guess maybe this will be... Oh yeah, the river curves. Looks like I can kind of narrow up in that one spot. I can't feed you from here, can I? No, I can't. Oh well. I'll wear my sword, because it's cool looking. Hither and yonder! Away we go! Or... Maybe and stuff. 
Come on, horsey. Is this less effective to mine through? Oh, well, I'm doing off to a great start here. Okay, what's this? Oh, crap! Oh, gosh! Oh, my goodness. Well, that's something to explore later. Jeepers. I've never seen a horse climb trees so effortlessly. Alright, I should keep this map kinda handy. Alright, so here comes... Maybe I can just go around this far bend. Can I? Whoa, whoa. Oh, still stuck. Oh no, still stuck. How about now? Still... St oh, wait. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? This is mining like I'm in the air or something. Ugh. Okay, well, if I, get over, if I can ever get over the river, it's gonna be... Yikes. I'll take some fall damage, maybe. This is turning into a bit more of a... Well, that's right, I'm trying to go uh, around, maybe? I'm starting to feel like the horse is not a very effective way to traverse a place that has lots of rivers. These hills are no trouble at all, but man, the rivers are... I haven't taken any fall damage with this guy yet. Either they're pretty resistant to it, or it's just not an issue at all. Either one of those would be... Good situation. Alright. Oh, cool. Floating one. And there's coal in the sky. That's awesome. So normally, when going back to my base, I would have crossed a couple of rivers and stayed pretty much straight north. This time I'm kind of avoiding the rivers, so I'm going to try to go back to my straight north. And I do still have that big tower that I really... <sighs> the tower that I made, so I should be able to see that at some point up in the sky. Where am I? Oh, there's my horse. Uh, my map. There's my map. I am off my map. So maybe I should have brought a bigger... But anyway, it should be... Oh, there it is. There's my tower. Yeah, this horse is not effective at getting me where I need to go. He's kind of big and it's hard to go around all these trees. Again, with all the trees getting in my way. So I'm mostly... Yeah, I can't avoid that water. Well, this is not a place where I'm going to be going very often, so I might as well... I don't have very many blocks. I can make just like a one wide path. Yeah, these maps are useless right now. So, horsey, um, be a good boy and stay where you're at. Daddy's going to make a trail. And I apologize for referring to myself like a horse parent. That actually bugs me a lot when people refer to themselves as like a pet mama or something, because it's like, you did not birth that, and you could not possibly have. So don't try to brag about something like that. It's a very different relationship. Oops, I accidentally put a block there. Oh, well. There we go, that'll suffice. I don't, yeah, I don't care so much about this place looking pretty. Because I'm not going to come back here. Berg, except maybe to burn the forest down. Let me through. Ah. Yeah, if I was going to come back here on a regular basis, I would devise some way of faster travel that doesn't involve having to go around all this, uh, all this stuff. There's a 
river. I can go around that river, right? Right. Oh, these hills are pretty nice to navigate with the horse. It's just the trees that are a major pain in the butt. Phasing through the branches sometimes, but that's okay. All right, here I am right on top of my base. So in terms of the map, I could have done better. Anyway, yeah, I was going to destroy this next time I came back here, but I don't know. It's kind of the only way to find a place. I really hate all these trees. Well, I might as well take him around to the main entrance rather than send myself down the hole because I don't want him to wander off. He could go anywhere from up top. What the heck, guy? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, this is not digging like I'm standing on the ground. I suppose that's a balance thing. Where am I going? I'm probably going to take some fall damage at some point. Yep, there you go. All right, here's the... <laughs> never did get the block from in here. All right, let's see. Do I have some space? I do have some space. This place is not horse-friendly. Oh, that's right. That's not the main entrance anyway. It was down here, which I made look nice, and then I left. Oh, the memories. Got this place all fancy-looking, and... Never did explore the... Uh... Oh, jeez, horse. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. All right, you know what, you horse, you can stay right here. And I guess I'll feed you. Feed you, okay. He's all fed. So, shovel. All right, awesome. So, wool, fence gate, a whole bunch of cobblestone. Fences, egg. Yeah, a lot of raw materials and not much else. This fancy leather tunic I got. Yeah, I suppose there's not really anything here that I... Well, coal is proving pretty useful now since I've been smelting a whole bunch of sand. I mean, like a whole bunch. Oh, this must be my original map. My original map. Yeah, otherwise there really is nothing here. But I never really did explore the caves that I found that were attached to uh, my place here. I do like a good cave. But then what do they... What do caves ever really do for you? I have not had much success finding things from caves. In this world, anyway. I'm not sure why. Need to be deeper anyway. These caves are not deep enough to get the good stuff. So, yeah. I guess, I, yeah, just grab that coal. Grab, uh. Is any of this worth bringing back? Not really. I don't know. Dirt is relatively hard to come by, but not really. Yeah, I guess, well, this episode may have been kind of a filler, but hey, guess what? That's that's Minecraft for you. I can sleep in my bed, go back in the morning, but I don't need to show you guys that. So I think, yeah, I'm still trying to keep the pyramid in the forefront of my mind, because I do want to get that started at least, just so I can kind of just get a feel for how much of the glass I have versus how much I'm going to eventually need. I don't think I have enough yet, but I want to find out if I'm missing it by, you know, one. do I have one-fifth as much as I need? Do I have half as much? One-tenth as much as I'll ultimately need? Only time can tell. But for now, this has been one more episode in the long journey that is my Minecraft Let's Play. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.